Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs. So today I'm sharing with you a Sideshow Premium Format Batgirl statue. Now the one on the left is the one I customized and the one on the right is just a factory paint up. Now, I didn't do anything other than painting the pearlized gold a yellow for somebody and then changing the Batarang into a black. So you can see the difference between the two statues and I guess that, you know, Sideshow went with the more of the you know, pearlized gold look where uh, somebody that I uh, did do a lot of work for asked me just to paint the gold into a yellow. So I guess she's more yellow. So we get a little bit closer and I'll show you which I did. So you can see the difference, which is like I always tell people, this is the great thing about the hobby. Just because the factory did one color paint job doesn't mean you need to keep it. You can mask it off. You can repaint it yourself. You can find someone to do it and go from there. So the one on the right is mine, the one on the left is for a client. I got this statue because I really love this statue. I think Sideshow nailed this one out of the park. I just love it. I don't even really care for the character much. I'm not really a Batman fan or the family that much, but I just love this statue so I had to snag it. So uh, getting a little bit closer here so we can show you what I did. So it's just a matter of just masking off all the uh, you know outfit and then just painting it uh, a yellow. Uh, so the yellow's got some kind of like a uh, shadowing in it it's not orange but it's not like a black it's not like a brown it's kind of like a burnt umber color that i use or a, a raw sienna i forget exactly which one i think it was a raw sienna and just gave a little bit more of shadowing into it as you can see in the boot areas just to give a little bit more life because if you just do flat yellow it kind of just looks bland uh so i just uh ran with that i didn't pull out the cape very much because i didn't really need to pull out the cape but so i just wanted to give you guys an idea that you know a simple change can turn the statue completely, you know, just from a simple pearlized gold to a yellow, and then you got yourself like more of a classic, I guess, look to her. I'm not really sure. I guess a lot of pictures I saw online, she's more just yellow. Um, and that's all I really touched, nothing else. Let's get a little bit closer here. So as, as far as the Batarang, what I did is I painted it black, but I did a misting of some... Uh, Let's see, gunmetal onto it, just to give it a little bit more of like, you know, a Metallica Batarang. So as you can see, the one that they gave her was just the uh, silver. So it's just a little bit of a difference, as you can see. It just uh, makes it pop a little bit more. Other than that, not really much else uh, to do to it. Uh, like I said, uh, the one on the right is mine. Maybe down the line I'll decide to repaint her if I feel like it. Um, I think the factory did a decent job on the faces on these. I think they really did a great job. You really almost don't even need to touch it at all. Uh, but down the line, maybe I will. Who knows? But uh, I think the hardest part of masking it, though, is probably just try to getting it under the hand. Because I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, when I was looking at the statue, I think this hand and part of the belt to the battering here is all one piece or two separate pieces. Because this might be glued in and then the hand must be glued in. I think that's how it is. I'm not really sure, but that's kind of how it looked like when I was uh, messing around with it. But it's just a simple little change. I was going to have the booty shot for you guys. And as you can see, I added the shading underneath the boots there. Didn't go too crazy with the shading, but just enough. Just to make it pop a little bit more. I put the shading under the hand. I tried to get as much as I could possibly could. Uh, just a little bit of shading on a uh, symbol on our chest between the cleavage and on the sides just to make it pop a little bit more. And there you go. That is a simple uh, color change for Sideshow Premium Format uh, Batgirl. Hopefully you guys like the way it came out. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you guys are a lot of classic fans out there you might like the yellow a little bit better. Um, I guess she is a little bit of a purple outfit with the yellow. I'm not really sure but it seems like the when I did the yellow onto the outfit, it seems like the outfit darkened up more because you're having that contrast with the colors. So you're not really seeing as much purple. It's almost looking like a deep, deep uh, dark purple, which is kind of cool compared to this one where it seems like almost the purple pops out more with the pearlized. Uh, it's just, I guess it's just, you know, playing eye tricks on you. But there you go. So hopefully you like the way it came out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.